Hey everyone, this is Lloyd Davin again, and today I am bringing you the E1 Revive version 2 uh, card miser. Now, the E1 uh, Revive version 2, we're just going to call it E1 for the rest of this video, um, is a rebuildable, it's it's a replaceable innard kind of mini tank um, card miser, let's say. It's a cross between, let's say, the Stardust and a, uh, a giant miser, I guess. It, it's about 2 milliliter capacity, and it, it's got some neat things to it um, that... Uh, make it really attractive to me. First, it gives good vapor and it's got good flavor. And it, you know, for a CE2 style, and you can get it with long wicks and short wicks, short wicks like the original um, Ego Vision um, Clarimizer, or the the longer wicks like the revived ones. And, and it, it does draw uh, very much like the Ego Vision, and it um, has the same style taste. It, it's actually very good. You can get it with you know different tank colors, or or just get the tank separately in different colors. Uh, there's a red, there's a blue, there's a smoky. This one's purple, um, and they're kind of neat. That's not bad. That's a good profits um, RY4. I think it's a 50/50 blend, and uh, it vapors quite well in these things. They, they do have a good flavor and a good draw and a good vapor production. So I, I really, really am digging these things. Now let's let's get into the tank uh, a little bit more. Uh, this is what one looks like out of the box when you first get it, and of course it has some some basic. Uh, basic structures, of course, a drip tip, which is replaceable. Uh, you have the top cap, which you can unscrew and drop. Um, you have the tube, which does come right off. And it unscrews and pulls right off. And, and then you have the E1's replaceable innard. Um, I have taken one of these apart. They are... Um, they are you are able to re-wick them and recoil them, but it's a little bit tricky since this uh, this little bottom positive section right there has a very long wire that goes up into the center of the tube, like such. And what I did is I took the little remaining piece of coil and looped it so that I can pop it back in. There's a little center seal, which you put the negative behind in there, in the center. You see that little white silica seal. And uh, then you can kind of put your wick and coil. You put your negative behind that seal. You put your positive into that little loop that I put on there, and you can create your own coil. Uh, it's possible, but these little innards are only about a buck fifty, two bucks a pop, so they're not going to break the bank. Um, and uh, I've really been enjoying this thing. It it just it's a nice cardamizer and it, it looks good. This is on a 650 mah Ego C Twist battery. Um, I think it looks pretty slick. Fits in my pocket. I'm ready to go. Uh, these come and I believe it's 2.4 to 2.8 ohms. I'm sure they'll have different ohms for the the inner centers that you can replace. Um, but all in all, they work well. Now, there's one thing I don't like about this, and that it doesn't screw in. This base just pushes in, and it kind of sits there. So if you knock the tube a little bit while you're putting it back together, and let's put it back together with a red tube, uh, which already has the top on it. Um, you know, it, it is possible to, to get that a little bit loose. If you're trying to adjust the center a little bit, you can move it out of place. It, it makes it a little bit difficult to work with. Um, and that all said and done, it's, that's really nothing in the whole grand scheme of things. So, um, I really like these. I, I, I think I've said that already, but I'm going to say it again. I really like these. Um, you know, for the non-modders in us, for something to work out of the box and work well, this does it. Um, like I said, it's got a good vapor, a, a good flavor. It, it, you know, it does handle the different uh, voltages I give it. Uh, what am I at? Uh, a four, 
Now the one I have in here has the short wicks and it works just like a Stardust. It, 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 I, I'm going to give this an edge over that Ego Vision Clarimizer slash Stardust uh, that people have because it's it's got the rounder shape. <laughs> I think it looks a little bit better. Um, as well, I think it just, to me, it's got a better draw. It's just a little bit looser, but it is a tighter draw like the Ego Vision Clarimizer. So, um, that being said, these have a, a little bit of a, uh, of a, um, edge. Um, now, something else that's bad is the tubing. This is the tube that comes with it, and this tubing is a little, even though it's a thick style tubing, it is softer. You can, I don't know if you can hear it cracking or falling, but it does, uh, it does push in a little too easy. It can crack, and I don't know how juices are going to react to it. It is just a, a plastic tubing. The colored tubes do seem to be a little bit more solid uh, than the one that came on the unit. Um, and here's the gray cloudy one. And uh, you can hear that little bit of crack when I give it a squeeze. So don't squeeze it too hard. Um, it doesn't seem to have a problem though with tightening it too much, giving it little cracks like the like the Vision Egos do. Um, it's about eight bucks for one of these. Um, I got this one from Discount Vapors, and the insides are are replaceable for for just a buck and a half, two bucks a piece. It's a nice little cardamizer, and um, I really do like this. Um, this is for me, um, but is it for you? I don't know. I don't know. So that is the E1 Revive version 2. Um, this one did come courtesy of Discount Vapors, and I got to give it thumbs up. It is really, really what people are looking for, for the non-modern all of us who just want something to get it and it'll work. There you go. All right, that being said, this is Lord Devin. Let him know I sent you.